for the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I stress up a cup. What for? Train in the trees, please. What my sycamore? Touch burning sands, cross lanes. All right, crew, you ready for another one? Let's hit up another boxing workout here at Nate Bauer Fitness. In today's session, we are crushing some footwork drills to get that heart rate up and of course working some more body shots along with your traditional boxing combos. We're going to get a quick warm up in before you guys get going today. If you have those shadow boxing gloves on, get them on. If you want ad free premium workouts, make sure you check out NateBauerElevated.com. All right, guys. Walkouts into four shoulder taps into lateral lunges. So you're gonna walk out by hinging your hips back. Four shoulder taps, right to left, left to right. Keep your abs strong. For four reps, walk back up with almost straight legs. And then go into a lateral lunge, right or left side first. Just like that. So of course you are working with me already. Why are you not working? Come on, let's go. And then let's repeat that one more time. So once again, walk out into that hip hinge, into the walkout, four shoulder touches. Walk it back up, lateral lunge, one per side. Hop, step, lateral lunges, let's go. So same thing, now you're just hop stepping across, getting into a little more dynamic lateral lunge. Don't go too far if your adductors feel tight. Just enough to get it right. 10 full reps of these, breathe, little athletic movements, and then start to bounce. Let's go. And then to warm up those boxing combos, we're gonna start working the jab first. So move around guys, work the jab, it's round number one. Still hitting your warm up though. Think of it like this. Your warm up piece is always your feel out round. Who are you boxing against? Are you inside? Are you outside? Are you a long range fighter? Are you an inside fighter? Are you just trying to grasp what your distance is? Your foot placement. Stay on your hips. Look at your target. So don't you just punch, see what you're hitting. Let's double it up. Double jab, one, one. Look at your target, snap out the jab, right hand nice and tight, elbow on that right hand, so that rear hand into the rib cage. Head movement, dip, change your angles. You know what to do. Lots of movement in this session, do not stand still. You're too good for that now, you've been here too long. Add the right hand, one, one, two. Jab, jab, cross, just a little right hand addition. Think about your rear shoulders popping back right before you throw the right hand. That's gonna give you a little more speed and power as you extend that rear hand or the cross hand through. Look at your target and then continue to work. Jab, jab, cross, move. Head movement, footwork. Reverse lunges with rotation, so step back at a reverse lunge and then turn into the forward leg. Again, slow-mo, you work through slow-mos too, so you see it and then you do it. You do what I do, let's go. Reverse, twist, reverse, twist, reverse, Twist, reverse, twist. And give me 10 reps total. Or until I'm done, because we got stuff to do. Get into a push up position. And then look into a push up with rotation. Hold that rotation at the top in a side plank for about five seconds. Come back down into a push up. Work the same side, five per side. Let's go. Open, hold it. Three, two, one. Push up, same side, hold it, strong shoulder, push up, up, hold, and one more, up, hold, switch sides, don't your knees touch, gotcha, push up, open, hold, 
Now when you're doing these, again, drive your knuckles through the floor, condition your hands and wrists too. Your hips are staying above your elbows. Recognize where your foot placement is so you can push your hips up off of your feet. Let's go. One, six, three body. So that jab, rear uppercut, and then the left hook to the body, and then move. Still work on warm up, guys. One, six, three bodies. We're gonna add in that rear uppercut and that left hook to the body. One, six, three body. Move with your footwork, think about lots of head movement, stabilize, and then let your hands go. Move your head to not get touched. You have to think of many scenarios at once and then all of a sudden all these pieces of the puzzle connect and you have one clear picture. One, six, three, two. One, six, three, two. Check out the screen, work it. That's right, so when you throw that left hook to the body, the rear hook or the rear shoulder, I should say, comes back, use that momentum to rip that rear cross with that number two straight through the target. Full extension, give me some pivots after this one. Keep working it. One, six, three body cross. You can throw the cross to the body or head. Don't forget to move your own. You can add slips. So add that slip to the left after your right hand. One, six, three body, two, slip left. We're gonna work off this too. So you're throwing a really nice combination here. Now after you slip to your left, roll under to your right. Slip, roll. That's a really good way to teach you how to roll under in a circular motion under a cross or a hook one two or one three body six two slip and roll slip and then duck and continue to work good job guys so it's that slip to your left draw that circle back to your right now a little more speed here there you go you can work inside or outside And then starts all of a sudden, it just starts to feel fluid. Let's work on some footwork. Sprinter step. Left foot forward, check out the screen. We're gonna do 10 reps, and then after that, we'll do one, two, look. Power up, step, step. Step, step. So you bring your back foot forward and your forward foot back. We're gonna do that for 10 and then throw one, twos. But first things first, go. Tap, 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 tap. That's your speed. One, twos. Fast, 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 we're working speed. Switch feet, right foot, ready. You have just enough time to get set up and then we go. Go. One, twos. Now remember, you can do a few extra of these if you want. It's all good, go back to your left foot forward, ready, go. Faster. There you go. One, two. Right foot forward, go. One, two, three, four. That's speed. One, twos. One, as a southpaw. You are a southpaw throwing those one, twos. Great job. Move. Jab, pivot left, double jab. Throw a jab, then pivot to your left. Throw another double jab. Jab, pivot, double jab. Don't 
across your rear foot past your forward foot. There you go. Strong balance and then move again. One, pivot, turn, jab, jab, move. Beautiful. Keep your head still when you pivot, unless you are ducking or slipping before or after. Parry, slip, defend, cover. Do your double jab moving left or moving right. Now add that uppercut. One, pivot, one, one, six. One, pivot left, one, one, six. Yeah, I like that, come on. It's a great combo. There you go. Now add a pivot right two. So after your six, pivot to your right and throw the cross. One, one. Six, pivot, two. One more time, jab, pivot, one, one. Six, pivot, two. Beautiful, again, a fast explosive combo. I love this one. One, pivot, one, one. Six, pivot, two. Beautiful, go to work. Pivot to the right, feel your big toe of that rear foot hit the ground, and then unleash that killer right hand or that killer rear cross. You may notice how sometimes I'll plant myself in the middle. I'm just simulating as if I'm in the middle of the ring and I don't want to move too far. So you can do that too. A little more balance and stability on your legs and think quick, short, explosive movements, which oftentimes are the most dangerous. Nice work, guys. Come on, a couple more. That's it. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Beautiful. Lunge pop-ups to stance. And then a one, two. That's what we're going to hit up in round number two. Remember, guys, what you guys want to see, I want to know. So make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the workout. And, of course, what you guys want to do next. It's all about giving you guys the workouts you want. So hook me up with a comment. You know, I'll get back to you. It's this way we work around here. Round number two, I want you to push harder than your first round. Like I mentioned, we're doing pop-ups first. So get into a kneeling position. Left foot forward, right knee down. Do it with me. Lunge pop-up. Bring the feet together like a sprinter step. Land and then throw an explosive one, two. This is as fast as you can. Knee all the way down. Pop-up, switch step, sprinter step, one, two all the way down, pop up, step, step, plant, jab, cross. You are crazy fast, get ready. Ready, go, tap, tap, one, two, back down, pop up, one, two, back down, pop up, tap, tap, one, two. There you go, so you're working in twos, guys. One to your feet. That's it. One, two, one, two. That's right, so bring it up. Tap, 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 tap. That's the rhythm, keep there, stay there. Come on, you gotta push with your forward leg as fast as you can and then bring it to your rear leg. Bring your rear leg to your forward leg. Awesome work, guys, let's go. One, five, three, jab, left uppercut, left hook. So you're working same side, forward side or lead side combos one five three jab left uppercut left hook footwork step in on your jab step back on your uppercut if you want step in again with your hook pivot off your hook
again you guys on this channel you're learning so many combinations constant variety if it feels good we do it Give me three more. That's a little faster working inside to finish strong. Let's go pop-ups again. You're gonna switch feet into a self-pause stance, so right foot forward. Again, pop up, and you're gonna throw your one-two as a self-paw. So if you're right-handed naturally, your right hand is going first, okay? Right foot forward, pop, pop, jab, cross, or one-two, and a left-handed stance when you throw. Ready guys, fast as you can, but this time keep your hands up. This time keep your hands up to your jaw, protect yourself at all times. Come on, fast feet, fast hands. Bring it down, bring it up. Tap, tap, back down. Tap, tap, one, two, back down. Fast feet, jab, cross, back down. Fast feet, jab, cross, back down. That's it. Come on, let those hands go. Get up fast, push off that forward leg. Quick switch, power through. Nice work, same side combo on the right side, which is a two, six, two. Hit that cross, right uppercut cross. Yeah, and just work with that one. Flow with it. Different movements, footwork. Again, have fun with this. Almost there. You're almost done. Round number two, guys. In three, two, one. Man, beautiful work. Round number three is coming up. Remember, guys, add free workouts. NatePowerElevated.com. You'll get three days absolutely free. You can check out whatever you want there. There are a hundred premium workouts on that channel and many more to come. All right, so your first combination, so join me there. There you go, so there you have it. The one, two, duck right, two, five, two. Now this one, think of the two, five, two as Power. I want you to really unload that 252. There you go. Nice tight combos. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. And then move. Defense. You can throw a few combos in between. Block, cover, slips. That's it. Show me your hand speed and power on this one, guys. All-star status. You know how it works. One, two, duck right. Two, five, two, move. Nice, crisp footwork. Don't waste steps. No chicken steps between combos. can always change your tempos. It could be a one, two, duck right, two, five, two, or a one, two, duck right, two, five, two. You always should think about changing it up. Add in a jab. One, two, duck right, two, five, two, one. That's right, and that one reestablishes your position. It reestablishes your range. So when you throw that, imagine you're trying to other close the distance or Keep distance between you and your opponent. Come on. That's 
hands, right? It's why it's important for you to throw the jab as you're working your way in to set something up as you're moving in. And it's also important for you to throw it on the way out to allow you to number one, stop somebody rushing in and to allow you to set up another combo that you wanna throw next. That jab is so fast, guys. Come on, you snap that jab. Intimidate with the jab. Intimidate with how good your defense is. Change your tempos for different looks so they can't figure you out. That's the way it works. All right, crew, nice work. Check out the screen. We're gonna add some conditioning in here again. Duck. Opposite hand, opposite knee. So when you duck to the right, it's gonna be left knee, right hand, and tap it twice. There you go. So come up, one, one, duck again, boom, boom. So the opposite knee, opposite arm. Two taps and go again. Three, two, one, work with me. Tap, tap, under, boom, boom, under, boom, boom, duck, knee, punch, duck, knee, punch. There you go. Now you work at my pace. Get under the punches, drive the knees up, flex your core. You're gonna feel this one tomorrow. Coordination, conditioning, it's all there. Rep for rep, come on guys. Even here, see a target in front of you as you go under. Practice not taking your eyes off the target. Unless you're looking at a camera. Come on guys, stay with me. You're looking at me, I'm looking at you. We're working non-stop. Almost there, but you stay with me rep for rep. It's not about time, it's only about effort. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah, bring it down to the floor, shoulder taps, again, plank position, use your knuckles, not your hands. Do your gloves if you have them on, if not, just use your hands, shoulder taps. Push your hip flexors into the floor with your toes. Come on, a few more. Of course, those are harder when your heart rate's up. That's the, that's the idea. One, two, three, two, step back with a double jab. One, two, three, two, step back with a double jab. You can advance with that jab across, left to across, and then you can step back with the double jab. Let's go. One, two, three, two, step back, double jab. One, two, three, two, step back, double jab. So you're advancing footwork, and you're retreating with footwork. Nice work, gang. Again, squat, duck left, knee drive. One, squat, duck right, knee drive, two. So again, now you're just not doing a double tap, it's just straight under, one lift. And three, two, one, let's go. Under, boom, under, boom, under, boom. There you go. These are the type of things I do in my classes as part of the warm up to get your nervous system fired up. Rep for rep, guys, come on, rep for rep. You do what I do. We do what we do. Stop slowing down, rep for rep. I know I caught you, let's go, I do it every time. Keep going. Keep going. 
couple more. Yeah, let's go. Shoulder taps. You know the drill now. We're flying, guys. Come on. 20 reps in three, two, one. Knuckles down. One. We're almost home. Lunge pop ups. Remember these? Let's go. Right hand is the left hand, left foot forward. You're doing it with me, guys. Come on in three, two, one, go. Pop, pop. One, two. Back down. Pop up. Back down. Let's go. Pop up. Tap, tap. Jab, cross. I want you to push the front foot down as hard as you can. Use your forward leg with your core. Explode up and balance in position again. And let go of the one, two. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. One, five, three. Same side combos. Jab, left uppercut, left hook. I'm just going to let you guys work this. You don't need me to yap at you for this one. You know this. One, five, three. Put in that work. Four minutes and 15 seconds in this session. Once you feel the combo, try to work it a little faster or with a little more power. Yeah, there you go, pop-ups, you're a left-handed fighter. So right foot is forward. Again, that split step, and you're gonna throw the right hand left cross. That one, two, straight down to the ground, pop it up. Give me that quick piece of footwork, and then throw the rear hand first, and throw the lead hand first, and the rear hand second for the cross. Are you ready? Go, tap, tap. Back down, pop up, jab, cross. That's it, so pause stance. Come on, get it. Feet down, pound through the floor. Push down to get up. Use your core with the forward leg and then fast explosive feet. Nice work guys, same side combos, 262. Two minutes to go guys. We're almost there. Two minutes crushing this session. You got the sweat on, you're feeling good. This is a high energy amp up session where you feel like you can take on the world after this one. Boxing does that though. That's why it's become a global trend right now. Everyone understands how much boxing is important. Feel the energy of the sessions and learn something. It's so vital right now. It's important. It's a good job for you guys getting these done. Next combination, one, two, three, two, step back, double jab. One, two, three, two, step back double jab this one's actually add on a jab so let's make this one a triple one two three two step back triple jab one two three two triple jab let's go it's 
small pieces back, your forward big toe is pushing you back just a little bit. It doesn't take much. Boxing is also a game of inches. If you step back one inch out of the way of a punch, it's plenty because you still have to get back in. Thirty seconds. One, two, three, two, triple jab. One, two, three, two, triple jab. Yeah, there you go. Ten seconds. Keep putting in the work. Once again, you guys are amazing. Another workout done. You're going to feel absolutely lit after this session and probably during it too. Make sure you guys check out NatePowerElevated.com. Show your love and support there and get 100 premium ad-free workouts at the same time. And of course, I will see you guys for the next session. You can also follow me on Instagram, but you guys know what to do. Hit the sub button, notifications tab, and I'll see you for the next session.